Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. People recommended in the past episode that I should just unlock Kane because no one likes playing as Hater Kane so we're going to do that um, and jump in as the tarnished version. Now I don't know too much about this character. He's not really one I've seen much of. I did see the slave video on him when he first came out but I think he's been changed a bit since then. He looked really overpowered or really underpowered. I can't remember which one it was. Either way, we're going to jump in. And he's got some interesting stuff about him. He's, he's very, very unique. Has a unique style of attacking. We're just going to jump in. Basically, we have this bag of which we can pick up and throw. We can also swing it like around us to hit things. And then we also have our Q ability, which will return the bag to us if we don't want to pick it up. But yeah, I can... Use it like a melee. Apparently range does affect this. Um, and we can put items in the bag, I think. I don't remember exactly how the the whole items in the bag thing works. But we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Either way, seems like a really fun character. Um, he seems a little bit powerful to start with. And like I said, he's got a lot of unique synergies with different items. I don't exactly know how they'll sort of come about. I don't know if there's a downside to, like, picking it up versus throwing it. Oh, God. This goddamn tail noise the hell out of me. We'll see how we do. Okay, in a room like this, we should just go with the swingies because it's a little bit easier. <laughs> it's really satisfying, actually. Yeah, this guy has a lot of unique synergies, mainly with vanilla items. I don't think we're going to see too many with modded items. Um, so we want to be finding more vanilla items realistically as this guy at the moment. We'll see, but like things like brimstone, you can get like different sort of flavors of bags, so to say. Um, but for the question of the day, what's like a unique um, mechanic that you'd like to see um, a custom character be built around? I've asked similar questions before, but yeah. This item, so I don't really know like how we put something in our bag. Do I like press this while it's holding it? Yeah, okay. So I... Pressed the I, I pressed the bag while I was holding the item, and it does seem to have given us an additional bag, but it's like a half bag. I'm not exactly sure what that means. But I thought maybe rocket in a jar would have like a special synergy because it's like rocket in a bag, but maybe not. Can I like swing now? Nah, I can't. Okay. So I'm not really sure, it, it, like in the top left there, look, below our hearts next to our money, we have the indication of having like half a bag. So I'm guessing I need to like absorb two items and then I'll get a, a bag maybe. Okay, this guy's going down pretty quick. I'm just trying to uh, fend off all the flies at the minute. There you go, we got him. And we can just do this. Sit here, let them all come to us. <laughs> That's pretty perfect. So now, with this modded item, if I do this and then go grab. Okay, so now we have two sacks. Good, good. Neither of them are synergistic. Like, they don't have any unique synergy to them. Um, but that doesn't matter. Having extra bags is still nice. Because I believe... I need to test this. If we, if we throw up both bags, does it suck them both to us? It does. Okay, nice. Okay, so we should be able to deal uh, damage a little bit more efficiently now. Because we can throw two bags at once and then suck them both up. Ooh, although I am seeing that now, because we have more bags, our throwing bag ability actually does take longer to charge. Which isn't what I expected. But then again, with more bags being about, it's a bit easier to like pick them up that way. Good. Check this out. Thunder thighs. I don't know if there's any particular way to know if we're getting a synergistic item, but I'm not going to take thunder thighs. I will take that and suck it up as well and get another bag. Yeah, it's all going to be a little bit of experimentation, I think, and playing around to see really what works, because I'm not going to know for a little while. I'm really going to be sort of playing this a little bit behind. Okay, that was a really bad hit there. Oh, that was an even worse hit. We lost that soul heart pretty quickly there. 
I guess you were a bit of an annoying one to hit. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I can get a few unique synergies here, but like I said, I don't really know what I'm looking for, so it might take me a little bit. Okay, we've got hearts there. I'm probably going to lose my devil deal here. I'd rather not, but... Increases the chance of trinkets dropping after room clear or from a chest. If held at the end of the run, spawn a random trinket on your next run. Ooh, I really like the idea of that. Um, I, I can get it, but I'm not going to grab it yet because it'll spoil my devil chance if I still have the chance of getting a devil deal, that is. There we got it. Good, good. Right, we'll see how we do with our boss. I would like to use bombs here, but honestly, I don't think it's going to be a great idea. So really, I should only use my, um, I should only use my, my bag recall. Oh, bugger. If they get too far away from me. Like if they're in a, in a spot where I can't really retrieve them, like now. Although now I've got an opportunity to, oh, bugger. I don't remember how this guy attacks, I'll be honest. All the bloody small enemies are blocking my shots right now. Good, good. And then we got water tumors, which is fine. Grab that real quick. Okay, so. Back this way. I didn't get a devil deal, of course. Put a bomb there. Give us that. Grab the heart. And we keep on going. I did take Water Tumors as an actual item because it's not going to have a synergy and I'd rather have a Tears Up here. Uh, I don't actually know how Tears Up works. I'm guessing it just increased charge time. I'm not really sure. So it might not be actually that worthwhile having a Tears Up, but I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll see. Bit of dross. Lovely. Okay. So this is probably one owl. Lost my devil deal straight away here. I'm going to suck up. Okay, so now we actually have a unique bag. So our third bag seems to be a maybe fly-based bag. So what does it do? Okay, so it dropped some, um, some sticky stuff when I hit the enemy. Okay, and I can actually... Or, like influence the order of which they come out based on that's kind of nice based on how I pick them up that's pretty good it's not it's not a super unique synergy but it's a synergy so I'm happy definitely needs more base damage we're, we're lacking a little bit on damage at the moment <laughs> I'm enjoying this a lot. This guy is pretty fun. Yeah, these little fellas I just want to smack. Good, good, good. Okay, we're getting some stuff going. Pop the devil card here. Seems it's taking a little longer to charge up my, my attack than it normally did. But maybe I'm just delusional. Oh, we got a spider that time. Nice. I wonder if this is a, like a benefit to bouncing it into the enemy. Uh, that's going to give us range damage. Honestly, we'll just take that, I think. Actually, no. No, I'll, I'll put that in a sack. So... Basically, I'm guessing we've got to combine two different things to create a synergy. But with modded items, that's not really going to work. But we didn't combine two specific things to make our our sack one here. So I'm not exactly sure how that works. Ooh, definitely something we want to take here. Okay, nice. Nice. Good. Ooh. Teleport into a devil deal here. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Lily. On use exposes enemies with less than one third of their maximum HP remaining. Does not work on bosses. Enemies glow if they are able to be detonated. 12 second recharge. Unfortunately, with the amount of health we have right now, that is just not the sort of thing that I'm looking for. It's pretty good, but oftentimes I'm not getting enemies to that sort of HP level.
what the hell exploded? <laughs> Did my bag just explode after a certain amount of time of swinging it? Is that what happened there? What the hell? I am confused. I am very confused as to what happened there. Doing well. Grab our sacks. Keep on smacking. Beautiful. Bad gas. Not great. But there you go. So I don't know if it's maybe more beneficial to have less sacks and just more synergies. Or if it's just a good idea to have as many sacks as you can get. It's it's kind of hard to know really. But this is, this is going to be a very much figure it out run. Like I said, I should probably go back and watch Slay's video to get a bit of a better understanding of the character. But for now, we're just kind of exploring it based on what I know. I think that's fine. Extra key. Lovely. I need to be maybe using the rocks that, like, they create when it bounces off the walls a bit more. I think that, that could be pretty good. Right, this one, bed bug. Th this one I'm just going to take an extra sack for, I think. Oh, hello. Yeah, fourth sack. I probably don't want as many plain sacks. I think that's sort of something we need to um, maybe work on. See, Lusty Blood... Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna gamble here and take Lusty Blood. It's a pretty huge gamble because I just don't have a lot of HP and I almost walked directly into that. But if I can get a soul heart from my shop, it won't be so bad. But yeah, I just think we're really lacking on damage at the minute, and the ability to stack a bit of extra damage here is gonna come in very, very handy. already proving to be a useful choice. Yeah, this is good stuff. Okay, this is actually nice we can get in here. Um, and that's something we definitely need right now. We'll take that. A bit of extra damage is lovely. Okay, so our throwing back recharge now is pretty pathetic. Oh, bloody hell. He did a full heart of damage there? What the heck? I didn't realize that did full heart damage, you bitch. But the good thing is I can just keep picking up the same bag if I really want to. I'm a little worried about this fight, to be honest. need to stay away from the webbing, really, because I'm going to end up getting myself hurt. need to stay above him, but uh, really, maybe. Oh, that was stupid. Almost died there. Okay, we're good. Please give me a heart. Damn you. <laughs> okay. We are in a risky spot right now. Very risky indeed. I could easily die here. But if we die, we'll just start again. We'll try it out. see what happens. Oh god, the little spiders block our block our sacks. Good, good arcade could be useful here. Yeah, let's take a little bit of a gamble here and just put five in it for now. Okay, nothing. Just two more bombs on me as well. Justice does at least give us a half heart, and we get a cracked key as well to utilize somewhere. I don't know where, but we'll see. Oh god, this room's a little bit annoying. But we're getting through it just nicely. Okay. A little bit of a maze to kind of get through here. Right. I know there's a double bomb there, so I want to go back and grab it. Also, I might as well use my crack key here, because why not? Hey, and that is why we did it. Okay, 
We're creating a good amount of flies and stuff here. I want more of that sack. I really should be playing to the strengths of this. Okay, Lord of the Pit. We could re-roll it, but flight and speed is good. Oh, okay. Here we go. This it actually does tell you which one synergize. Chance to create a hungry soul near the player when hitting an enemy. Okay. Let's let's go with this and suck this up. So now, if I combine that with anything, I, I think it gives me that synergy. I'm not exactly sure how that works. I think I'm about... Oh, I just used a D6 by accident. Whoops. I was trying to get my sack back. Dude, did you just eat all my goddamn money? Little shitheads. You didn't give me any of it back. Rude. Half a heart, that's very, very nice. You again. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to kill in this room, so our damage is going to stay low. Okay, good. Did all right there. Okay, I I've got into the rhythm of the throwing now. Um, spews out some colorful tears when hitting something. Okay, so we do this, and then... Does, so which which one of those takes priority then? Because we got this bag now. Does that bag have both of those synergies in it, or does it only have one? I'm that's 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 the bit that I'm confused on right now. Did I accidentally overwrite the other synergy, or did I combine the two into one bag? We'll see if we get any hungry souls. I guess that'll be the big indicator. It doesn't seem to be doing anything at the minute, so I think I might have buggered it. Oh, balls to you. What's my devil deal again because of that? The red room here gives us access into our de uh, item room easily. Magic mush. Spews out some colourful tears when hitting something. This is one that we just take. I'm not seeing any hungry souls at the minute, so I think I've accidentally overwritten that. I'm sure there's a few that maybe do combine, but I think normally I want to be putting it with something that doesn't have a synergy in order to create a normal bag. Oh god, there's spikes in this room, so they're just killing themselves. I mean, that works for me. Tammy's head. I guess we just take Tammy's head. How, does it shoot sacks? That'd be ah. Oh, it'd be great if it did throw sacks, but it doesn't. Right. Keep this going. I like with these heads that you can just like hit them straight through. That's a piss around. Tammy's head. Unfortunately, it takes forever to activate. It's not very useful unless you get like a brimstone or something. Yeah, it's, it seems like it definitely overwrote it, which is a real shame. I was hoping that wouldn't be the case. But it is. It is. We've been to our item room? We have, yeah, okay. We're kind of good to just go on this floor. Missed completely. Oh, I said missed completely. It bounced back. This is the sort of thing we need to use the throwing sack to... Uh, Throwing bag to get our shit back. Okay, good.
Nice. Check in here. Dull Razor. We don't have any on-hit effects right now. I guess we just buy this for now. Good. And got the eyes. The evil eyes. Good. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That guy basically spawned on me. You shit. There's another ghost somewhere about. There he is. Not wanting to show up for a little while, but we got him. Oh, the damage. Yeah, with, with magic mush plus um, the ability to gain damage when we hurt other enemies, when we kill other enemies, we've got enough damage now, I think. To feel pretty happy. Right, let's get all our sacks back. These guys are a little annoying. I'm not sure why they're glowing either. It's a strange effect. There you go. Right. Uh, this is kind of an annoying boss for this guy. Okay, some flies there is nice. Yeah, he's going to probably hit me a good few times here because it's just going to be really hard to, like, efficiently hit this guy otherwise. In fact, just getting our sacks back is an absolute pain in the ass with this dude. We kind of have to use our throwing bag to get him back. I knew you were going to be a nightmare. But we got him. Took a little while longer than I'd like. Meat is just damage and health, so I'll just take that. And we go. I don't know sort of how many sacks is the ideal amount to have. There must be like a, a good sort of way to gauge how many you should kind of have. Because I feel like I have maybe too many. Maybe I should, should just be going for synergy based ones. Better to have less because then throwing bag charges a lot quicker and stuff. I don't know. It's hard to, like I said, hard to gauge sort of where I should be sitting with that. That's a big old golden pill. Wow. Big old tears up. Big old health up. My god. Okay, we got everything positive apart from shot speed there. So that was pretty fucking good going. Orbits, uh, orbital familiars, familiar that rerolls tears. Wacky. Okay. Don't know if it's going to work for us, really. Uh, items way back there. Spider unboxing has created quite the mess. But that was a very positive uh, golden pill there. Lots of health up. We got um, tears up. Just all round. Very good stuff. Okay. There's some of the tear re-rolling that, that this... Uh, this whole thing does, because that was kind of crazy. Where'd that laser come from? I think I'm gonna like this. I don't know if it's gonna get much use because it's kind of hard to do it on purpose, but I like it nonetheless. My swingy damage is actually looking pretty good at the minute as well. Let me get you. Didn't mean to touch that one, but there you go. We got plenty, plenty of keys now. Right, item room. Inflicts bleeding when hitting an enemy. We shall take that into the bag. Oh wait, and then oh, I should have really taken Tammy's head then as well, shouldn't I? Because we're not really using it very much. Oh well, what's done is done. Right to the shop, and then off of this floor we go. Good, 
good. Cern Bond is, is, is pretty good, but it doesn't really affect what we're doing right now. Nice. Oh, get a few red rooms and a red key here. Always like that. Oh god, that guy exploded. Still don't know what that explosion earlier was from. Oh wait, we got a ghost! We got a ghost! Okay, it does work! Interesting, it's just really rare to get those ghosts, apparently. We actually got one, though. Nice, 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 nice. Wasn't expecting that. Box boy. Right, get a bit of damage on with that. Good, good. We've got a mini little thing there. Um, portal. Rift, what you going to call it. I'd like to not lose my burn heart and I'll be happy. The swinging damage does really good once you get it buffed. Negative here, thank you. I will check this out. Chance to create a hungry soul uh, near the player when hitting an enemy, and that doesn't do anything. I think we do that and that. I'm pretty happy. Okay, we got another bag this time. This is a... Uh... Now we've got like a red bag look, this one here. So that one has in it the bleed chance and the hungry ghost chance. I think we've got a good setup here. Random explodey tier doing its thing there. Don't know where that came from. Yeah, keep it going. Right. Throw my nice bag to see what that does. There's the bleed. Nice. Okay, so it did take on both effects. I like that. Looks like there isn't a way to reorder your sacks at all, which I kind of expected there wouldn't be, but I was just seeing if there was, maybe. Bleeding is good. That should kill him reasonably quickly. Teleports. Need to be careful, because I'm taking full heart damage now. I wasn't really paying attention to that, to be honest. There's an XL floor as well, so I'm hoping we can shoot through this floor relatively quickly. Fortune cookie shot there randomly. Okay. God damn, big guy's got a lot of health. That took a bit of doing, that did. Don't need extra keys. Don't worry about that. We're not going to do hush or anything here. I wouldn't think, but I, I bet you can get some really cool overpowered runs going as this guy. This one feels pretty mediocre. Pretty mediocre. We've got some good stuff going, and our damage seems decent, but it's, it's, it's really nothing crazy. What? Where, where'd the bomb come from? I just need to test this. If I hold this for a really long time, does it blow? No. I'm unsure where the bombs are coming from. I think the, the longer... We spin up as well. Okay, that time I took damage. The more damage we, t uh, the more damage it deals. Sorry. Wait. Okay, I've just realised what it is. Watch this. You can put a bomb in the bag. You can put a bo like you can pick up troll bombs and your bombs and put them in the bag. That's cool. But goddamn, is that annoying. 
<laughs> I didn't intend to do that at all. We've taken a bit too much damage here that I shouldn't have taken, but kind of is what it is. Don't swing this near bombs. Damn it, was kind of hoping for some red health in there or a soul heart out of that chest, but we get neither. Unfortunately as well, as always in the womb, we have gone the wrong way. It's very customary for uh, a womb journey. Nice. Oh, there's still an enemy left. I see you. Lovely. Oh, there was a heart there. I should go back and grab that. Oh, God. Gimme, gimme. No lovers, sadly. I swear my charge up is longer after getting a tears up. It takes longer for me to spool up my, my, my sack. Cause I keep accidentally letting go of it early. And I'd only do that if it's gotten worse. I love the noise it makes. It spools up. Yeah, we definitely got enough sacks to like make combat easier at this point as well. I think having this many is actually a really, really big get. Because it just means that we're not having to suck them in or chase them around as much, which is super useful. Oh, for God's sake, the polyp hit me. God damn it. I didn't even, I, I didn't even think about the fact that that was a possibility that could happen. Very annoying. You're going to close so I can leave this place. Thank you. Oh, God. Oh, God. This ain't going to go too hot, is it? I sucked up the bomb and it exploded. Anyways, that was a really fun first look at this character. I definitely want to play this guy more, so do let me know if you guys want to see more of him. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.